Greg Ruff with you, and joining me is Coach Mark Foster. Trojans win it 11-1 to over Salem. And just talk a little bit about this match and what you were hoping to get out of it. You know, tonight was about, um, well, first of all, we knew going into it they were going to be down a couple of players, had a few players injured, and so uh, I told the girls the important thing was is that we didn't pick up any injuries tonight and we didn't pick up any bad habits. Um, we have a run of big games coming up, and, and so tonight was about being professional, getting the results and, and, and not getting injured and not picking up any bad habits, and uh, I think we did that, thank God. Talk about Kentucky Wesleyan, that's a big one on Saturday, just up the road in Owensboro. What do you, what do, you do to prepare for that? Well, you know, Greg, to be honest with you, uh, tomorrow we'll have a recovery session from tonight. Um, but my job now uh, gets easy. Uh, when you look at the Kentucky Wesleyan game, if the girls aren't up for it, um, there's not much you or me can say to get them up for it. Um, Christian Brothers is another big test on Monday and then Cedarville come here and Urson come here and so the next week is going to be amazing and that's why we play and uh, the girls know that it's in our hands if we win the games we win the conference uh, nobody can stop us uh, after Kentucky we're, the conference games are at home so uh, now I just get to sit back you know the hard work's done it's about the girls going out and doing it and uh, yeah it's going to be a great week He's Mark Foster. Hope you come out and catch the ladies over the last week and a half of the season. They got a chance to win the GMAC. For Mark Foster, I'm Greg Ruff here on TNUTrojans.com.